Hey, what's up guys? Commander Hill here again, and today I'll be doing a review on the Halo Mega Bloks 2014 exclusive figure. So let's get started. Alright, so first off, let's take a look at its packaging. Down here it says 2014 exclusive figure. So far, this guy's only been seen in the RTX convention in Austin, Texas. That's the only place you could pick this up. And also, it's available probably on eBay, but it may be fairly overpriced since it's an exclusive figure. But if you find the right deal, I definitely recommend it. Down here it says 8+, plus, set number 99703, and it says new superposable micro action figures at the top. So this is in the new articulation, so that's, I'm really happy about that. Over here it has the, it shows that the armor can be taken off and just says new armor system and down here all the copyright stuff. So let's get a look at the figure. Alright and here he is, the 2014 exclusive Halo Mega Bloks figure. And I gotta say, this guy is absolutely amazing. This is my first new super articulated figure, so I'm really happy about that. And the whole idea behind the switch out armor and the new super articulation is just amazing. I had a lot of cons about this when I first saw these figures announced at Toy Fair, but now that I get one of them in hand, all those cons go out the door. The design team did an amazing job. It's to scale with all your Halo Mega Bloks figures, so you don't have to worry about that. The armor switch out thing is really nice. It's not, um, if some of you that think the armor doesn't stay on nice and tight, it is a little floppy, but not bad at all. It does not affect the figure whatsoever. Uh, but the two shoulder pieces here can be removed. The two waist pieces down here can be removed on each side. And the front piece and back piece can be removed as well. As well as the other pieces that could be removed before and all the other Halo Mega Bloks figures. So it's really nice. I definitely recommend picking one of these guys up if you can find it on eBay or somewhere else. They're really, this guy is really awesome. He does have a nice gold visor up there. Not, there's no sloppy paint details on this whatsoever. It does have like little purple streaks going through it. So it's not just that solid blue color. So that's really nice. A feature but let's take a look at the uh, armor piece accessories and what else this guy features all right so here's a look at the figure without all of his armor on so the pieces that you don't see are the ones that are available to take off of course you can still take the legs off like you could with the older figures as well as the waist piece and the head but um everything else i'm pretty sure those arms are not available to take off i'm not going to really try i'm afraid i might break it but i don't think you can take them off like you could with the older figures of course the hands can be taken out as well like you could with the other ones but basically what you see missing is the main pieces you can take off of this figure that is meant to be taken off uh, as you can see the jumpsuit is really nicely detailed i thought it was just going to be a plain black jumpsuit but it is very very detailed underneath so i, I like that they went the extra way with that that looks really really nice uh, so in more detailing on the back, it does also include that peg hole for um, secondary weapon display, so that's really nice as well. But overall, just a great job with that. Here's the pieces. So here's the chest piece they can be taken off. It has two little pegs back here that could be uh, placed in the back piece. Here's the back piece. Um, here's the, sh the waist pieces that can be taken off as well as the shoulder pieces. So there's a lot of like um, customization that you can put in these. If you get a lot of different figures, you can customize them however you want. You can make them look like your armor in the Halo game. So I'm really excited about getting more of these guys, but overall it is a very cool idea. Uh, for the accessories, he does come with the new tactical shotgun. I did not have this gun yet, so it is exclusive for me. But of course, it has been available with different sets, so it's not a really exclusive weapon. That would have been cool if it was, though, just for a little while. So that's really cool, really nice detail put into that. And it does also include the three stud base plate, as you see with the mystery packs. But overall, very cool features. Alright, and also included with this little package is a little checklist of Halo Mega Block sets, and also a $5 off Halo Mega Block set coupon when you spend 20 or more on any Halo Mega Blocks product, so that's pretty cool. That's for US only, so if you get this in Canada, like where I live, you can't use it, so that kind of set uh, sucks. It does expire on December 31st, 2014 as well. Um, but up here is just a basic checklist of all the new 2014 sets. We have the Ultra Mongoose of the Meal, definitely going to be picking that one up. The Wombat with the Rookie, um, I'm probably going to wait for that set to come on sale. It's not something I'm really excited about. Uh, the Police Cyclops, definitely going to be looking for that. The Cruiser, one of the most anticipated sets. I can't wait to pick up that one. I'm really excited about that Brute Chieftain in that uh, car. Up here, we have the Flame Ward Hog. Not so sure about getting that one. Uh, the new um, Broadsword, that's a really cool set. We got the Didact, Cortana, and Master Chief. That is just an amazing set. Probably going to wait for it to come on sale, though, before I pick it up. But overall, very cool set. And my number one anticipated set for this year is the Flood Invasion set. I really want to pick that one up. I really hope I can get my hands on that one. Uh, it's a $50 set, so it's not way overpriced, but it's a really awesome set. I can't wait to see reviews on that and pick one up for myself. So that's, I can't wait for that. 
And on the back, it's just basically all the copyright logos and everything, and uh, how to assemble the figure as well as the pieces you get with it. So that's basically it for that. Overall, I give this figure a solid 10 out of 10. I definitely uh, say that this deserved to be an exclusive figure. Everything about it is amazing. The paint scheme, the armor, the articulations, everything. Its accessories are nice for it as well. Uh, just a very, very awesome figure. If you do find one on eBay for a good price, I def definitely recommend you pick it up. This is a really nice figure. Everything it comes with is really nice. It definitely uh, deserved to be an exclusive figure. But that's basically it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Please stay tuned for more videos, and I'll see you guys next time. Commander Hill, out.